Do you think that the uh, mystery of Thompson's death will ever be solved? I'd like to think that it has been solved, as you say. Um, there are circumstances surrounding his death which raise questions. But after all, how, how long can you keep on asking questions and never being sure of the answer? This land, like a mirror, turns you inward, and you become a forest in a furtive lake. The dark pines of your mind reach downward. You dream in the green of your time. Your memory is a row of sinking pines. There were rumors of foul play, but the official verdict was accidental drowning. I know some people even say suicide, which I, I can't even think of that. There's a strong possibility that, that Thompson was struck with his own paddle and killed. Explorer, you tell yourself this is not what you came for, although it is good here and green. You had meant to move with a kind of largeness. You had planned a heavy grace, an anguished dream. The dark pines of your mind dip deeper, and you are sinking, sinking. Sleeper in an elementary world. There is something down there, and you want it told. On a rainy summer day in 1917, Tom Thompson paddled out alone onto Canoe Lake in Ontario's Algonquin Park. He was never seen again. He was just 39 and had painted only 50 major works. But in the years following his disappearance, this body of work would become the single most influential in the history of Canadian landscape painting. And Thompson, would become a figure of mythical proportions. <laughs> 